Now it is Conservation Week, a great time to think about how we can help preserve our environment and maybe even help to take care of it as well. We should all be doing that. On Coffee Group today we are getting advice and ideas from Nick Turner and Kate Meads. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Nick, let's start with you. Why is conservation so important? To me, conservation is just about being more mindful of the natural environment. I mean, we're part of something that's way bigger than ourselves and I guess being conscious about that helps us to make better choices. I mean, I love the quote, no one can do everything, but everyone can do something. Exactly. And that's mm. what it's all about, isn't it? Just uh, that little reminder that it's so important mm. and you have to make small steps to make things happen. So Kate, what's the easiest way to educate and also involve kids in Conservation Week? Well, there's real simple things you can do in your home because a lot of people forget water conservation is part of that as well. Mm. So getting them to have shorter showers, Ew. which can be a challenge mm. with teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just even, you know, getting out in the garden and planting a tree or, or going and doing, there's heaps of activities around that um, are all up on their website and going and getting involved with a clean up or a planting. It's really just about letting your children know what's around, isn't it? And just making them aware of the fact that we do have to make some little conservation efforts. Yeah, and I think also getting the kids to realise they need to, you know, look after this place because they're going to be here longer than us. Exactly, they <laughs> certainly are. Uh, and, and apparently babies that are born now, some of them could live to be 150. They said that. I read something about that. Oh, really? Day, which is <laughs> extraordinary. It's quite terrifying, really, isn't it? Uh, Nick, for those not wanting to go out tree planting or rubbish collecting, which mm. is two obvious things you can do, uh, what can we do in our own home? Yeah, look, home's an awesome place to start. You know, one thing to think about is how can you sort of invite nature into your own backyard I guess so thinking about you know as Kate said planting trees and flowers and creating habitats that birds and insects are really going to love. Mm. We think a lot about what we use in and around our home as well so things like plastics you know how can you reduce your use of especially single use plastics and disposable plastics and make sure they go in the right place if you are using them. We also like to think about the chemicals that we use in and around our home as well and mm. being mindful of those because ultimately those are all going to end up you know, in our waterways and our soil, so just, just thinking about those. So you want to reduce the chemicals. What can mm. you use if you don't want to use chemicals? Is there anything easy you can use if you, oh. say you want to clean out your sink? Yeah, so just the classic baking soda and vinegar goes a really long way. That's what we use for pretty much all of our cleaning in our house. You can actually clean everything with that, can't you? Pretty much. Toilets and everything. <laughs> everything with baking yep. soda and vinegar. Who knew? Yeah. Um, so Kate, how do we limit the damage that we're causing? Um, I think it is just it's just conscience, consciousness and mm. it's a bit like what Nick said before you know the doing one thing is really important mm. and we're all very active very busy and we forget that um, the environment around us is so important because this is where we live mm. and so we just need to actually take action in each of our households to make a conscious effort to be better and leave this place better for future generations. Obviously, you know, like take your your reusable bags uh, yep. to the supermarket. Yep. Your own coffee cup, you know, yeah. all those sort of simple, simple things. It's not, it doesn't have to be a big, uh, mm. you know, you don't have to go and replant the whole garden and all that sort of stuff, but just being like a little bit of aware of all the small things you can do. And also most places these days aren't even, they don't care if you bring your own container to mm. get your takeaway and do mm. they? I mean it's a little bit more tricky but it's obviously something that you can think about doing as well. Yeah, and some of them are really handy, you can pop them in your handbag and they will squash down and you know, and it's simple. And the more I think consumers actually ask for that or demand mm -hmm. to be able to do that, the more normal it becomes again. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is there any way that people can actually go and learn a little bit about what they can do? Because I think sometimes the problem is that people just don't actually, they just don't think about what they can personally do. Yeah, well, well, both of us do workshops on waste civilisation. Thank you for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I work all over the country doing waste education. The same yeah. thing, we both run, you know, slightly different angles in terms of, um, yeah, how you can reduce your waste, just that whole conscious consumerism, yeah. I guess, and giving people lots of tools. So, yep, there's lots of education information out there, lots of stuff online, mm, you know, yeah. local council. Yeah. And start the kids young so they just grow up thinking it's completely normal totally. and this is what they do. So what plans do you both have for Conservation Week this year? Yeah, I'll just be getting outside. It's such an awesome <laughs> time of year as well. So my kids are really into just being outside, bug hotels, fairy gardens are a big thing in our household at the moment. <laughs> so just lots of time outside creating those awesome awesome habitats. What about you Kate? I'm heading to New Plymouth to educate a whole lot of parents on waste minimisation this week so good. looking forward to that. Excellent. Yeah. Good. It's a, it's a really well done because it's something that we all need to be thinking about a lot more than what we do. Hey thank you both very much for joining us today.
Great tips. Now, for more advice on conserving our environment, you can head to Nick's website, Mainstream Green, or Waste Free with Kate. Look for the Nappy Lady website.